where are you from? Uh, Lyon, uh, France. What are you showing off to uh, everyone that's visiting your table? Uh, we are showing off the cuisine française, uh, French cuisine. Uh, mostly uh, the breakfast, like uh, crepe uh, madeleine. How long have you been in the country? We've been here for one and a half months, something like that. Yeah, around the beginning of August. Okay. And from your town or city yeah. compared to Hopkinton, yeah. which is bigger, which is faster? Um, my city in Germany is bigger. In, in where in Germany? Uh, North Rhine-Westphalia, Cologne, the Ruhr area. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about you, yeah. Just... yeah, like the city where I'm from is bigger too, and it's um, in the south of Germany, so from Bavaria, okay. near by Munich, something like that. Have you noticed anything that is maybe the same as home? Um, the students yeah. have to go to school too. Where are you from? Italy. Where about? Milan. Oh, tell me, how long have you been in country for? In this country? Um, two months. So, in Milan, we don't have really activities at school. Uh, here we have a lot of activities and the transportation because I move with underground in Milan. Yeah, and here, just car. <laughs> what kind of delicacies are you showing everybody today? So, we have panzerotti. Yep. Uh, who made the panzerotti? They're not here. We all made them together. <laughs> Everybody helped? Together. Yeah. Everybody helped. Right? Then here there are torta salata. It's like yeah. salt, we call it salt cake because yeah. it's a cake, but it's salty. There's um, pasta in the oven. Yep. And we, then... We call that big ziti. Okay. That's a big ziti. That's a, in America we call it. <laughs> okay, perfect. Hey, what's that? And here we have Nutella tart. I oh, made it. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, um, fruit tart. I made this too. <laughs> Very good. So, so let me ask you, where do you learn to cook like this? I love cooking. It's one of my biggest pa passions, yes. Did you learn it from your family or did you learn it no, at school? On my own. Just on your own? I did some courses, but I love cooking and I do everything by my own, yes. What country is here? Oh, it's China. China? And how long have you been in uh, the U.S. for? Um, about two years. What are you showing everybody here tonight? Um, we're showing some of the Chinese style um, little decoration things and then the Chinese food and we have some like um, like guesses like games Kahoot and then talking about some Chinese um, things yeah and I see a little food everyone's uh, sampled here what kind of food do you have um these are peanuts like we, we eat them as snacks and then dumplings with porks and cabbages and the okay this one that one is the shrimp dumplings and they steam they're kind of different but both called dumplings okay, great. is it a longer day at school here or a longer day at school at home home <laughs> home's a lot longer how long do you spend in school at home eight hours eight hours that's a long day yeah so now we have um thai spring rolls and we have Pad Thai, or it's kind of like stir-fried noodles, and we have tamarinds. Um, it's kind of like Asian fruits, um, and then we have tamarinds candies too. So these are all we got. Yeah. And how long have you been in Hopkinton for? For I think almost two months. Two months. Have you noticed any kind of similarities that you could compare to with Thailand being at home? Um, the days of the school here are shorter. So like we we usually um, the school school in Thailand usually ends at like probably 2:40 or maybe four or something, and it's kind of like more much more pressure than this. Do you get to enjoy yourself uh, throughout the town with friends? Yeah, sometimes I go to Yogurt Beach Excellent. after school. Yeah. And what kind of things are you showing your American visitors? Oh, I'm showing like brigadeiro. That's a typical dessert from Brazil. It's made by chocolate. And that's like pasoquita, it's like a peanut butter. And those is like a chocolate with no stuff. And is there anything about Hopkinton now that you're gonna remember for the rest of your life? Oh yeah, I remember always how here is safe. Because it's not so safe in all Brazil. So like here I can walk like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. alone, there's no problem. Sometimes in Brazil it's not so safe. So yeah, I will remember that ever and the cold too because Brazil is so hot like I never saw 
It's like 50 degrees in Brazil. I'll look for them while you do that. What country are we at right now? I'm from Vietnam. You're from Vietnam. Yeah, what kind of uh, samplings do you have for everybody? I have here some flavor, no, some uh, chips that are shrimp flavored and have spicy fried rice. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So how long have you been in Hopkinton for? I think for about one month and a half. Okay. And do you notice any kind of similarities to school life here, to school life at home? I would say that it's a totally different world. Because in Vietnam, we start school at 12 p.m. So like I have to wake up really early now, and yeah. I didn't like it.